Morning team. Morning. Morning. Monday morning. Hype hype. Hype to the hype hype. Uh, and you're in for another D to the L to the L to the D special a, week. A special week. Uh, what are we on this week? I'll get the camper van out. Yep. Buzzing. M O T. M to the T to the O. That'll probably be. Uh, you won't probably find out till. No, no. Fridays. Do we say it on Wednesdays? Oh, I don't know. What's going on, mate? No, well, anyway, camper's coming out. It's getting MOT this week. So enjoy that. And yeah. then, then we've got a little fencing job to do. So a little fencing the, uh, job. Fencing Danzo Styley. Yeah, that's on. That'll be in Friday's video, probably, because that's what the end of the week. And yeah, we're going to clear it. And yeah. Clear it. Don't forget, guys. Don't forget, if you're at a loose end, to just scroll down ever so slightly. Yeah, and then and you go. What do you go, do? You go like. No, no, uh, you like first. You, you like. like no, like and then subscribe. Yeah, and then and then you say share. share. But it's a little bell icon. And notifications. Turn no. it on. It tells us when us two are on screen. Exactly. So let's get cracking. Yeah, enjoy. Yeah, yeah. Bosh, bosh. Morning guys, morning. It is Monday morning. It's Monday, Monday, Monday morning, fresh and early today. It's Monday, Monday, Monday morning. Yes, we're here all day. <laughs> uh, front or back, Sam? Front or uh, back? Back, please, Joe. Back. So, what's going on, guys? It's actually getting on a bit. I think it's like quarter to eight. We've been here since about half five, cracking on. And machine's out. So, one seven's out today for a little hire for a new company, a new customer. Uh, they're from further afield, I think, and they found us. Uh, I don't know how they found us, but they found us. Google, probably found us on Google. And they're hiring the 17 today uh, at a nursery. Again, it's Easter holiday still, I think. So they're doing that. Uh, nine tonner's out. The nine tonner is still loaded. And the nine tonner is out on a, another farm. Not a farm that we've worked on, per se. Well, but grabs for it. Yeah, we've done some grabs from it. Uh, a friend of the business, a friend of the landlord, and nine tonners out. We're also starting a couple of new jobs this week, just little jobs, nice little jobs. Uh, we've got to run a nice little two, three day jobs. You know what we have got? We've got a bit of fencing coming up, so uh, D and J, mate, watch this space. Yeah, we've got a bit of fencing. Uh, hopefully, we get down the new yard at some point. Where are you going, Sam? Down here or oh, no, over it, mate? Thank you. Just, uh, yeah, we're just uh, strapping down the 170 for its journey out. Only going down to Haverhill, so not far, but always be safe and compliant, guys. So, yes, this week fencing, a bit of drainage maybe, but we might jump onto a block paving job first because there's a bit more of a deadline with that one. Uh, Andy's van's in on Friday for a bit of a service. And yes, yeah, it's going to be another cracking week at Danes to the low. L to the D to the D to the L. He needs, uh, needs all the service, mate, Andy. He needs a fucking bomb squad in there. <laughs> it needs a bit of a clean. Uh, some yeah. might say Andy's a bit feral. He's a, he's a fucking heathen. <laughs> That's what he is. The man's yeah. a heathen. But yes, uh, nothing else really exciting other than just no. general excitement. Today is an exciting day. Is it? Oh, yeah. Out, yeah, we're getting the camper out. So you would have seen on last week's video that the struggler... I've got to put this down somewhere. Look. The struggler was in Friday, uh, doing a bit of pre-MOT inspection on the on the camper, and it's uh, it's in tomorrow. Tomorrow for taco and taco calibration, and then Wednesday for the MOT. I think the result from the struggler's pre-MOT was that it should be a pass. Yeah. 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 You said actually. Well, we all, me and Jack, know already that it's a really clean lorry because of uh, its previous history. It was a fire engine, and every truck in the fire service obviously gets looked after. Uh, then it went to a, a, a driving school. school for God knows how long. Might have been a few months, might have been a couple of years, you don't know. Uh, but they looked after it as well. So it's come to me, I'm the third owner, and it's very clean, very clean. So the struggle's quite impressed, actually. Um, just a few little bits I had to do, sort some lights out. But as for the running gear and the chassis and that, and the airbags, and, Bushes, it's auto grease, so everything's been looked after. Yes. So the general consensus is that it's a good lorry. Yeah, now we've just got to get it out of the shed because you will have, will have seen from one of our first sort of videos when it turned up, it was a mission to get it in and it's going to be just as fun getting it out. So we're going to do that later on. We've sort of pulled a day away to get it out. I know it's, uh, uh, it's not, uh, not uh, our usual forte, but today we're on the camper van struggle. Uh, and then next week, next week, guys, we are, me and Sam, we're going to go to court because this machine, this machine here was stolen a year ago. 
Uh, we managed to recover it. Well, when we video our going to court, we'll give you a full rundown. Might even do a reconstruction. Uh, but yes, the person that stole it is going to court next week. And me and Sam are going to go look him in the eyes. Okay, we're going to crack on. Yep, yep. First job, getting the nine tonner out. Bosh. Now we're going to get back to the yard. Back to the yard. Yep, yep. So we're back to the yard, guys. Back to the bee, back to the bee, Mike. And Sam, Mike. Sam made a good point. We have never showed you. Uh, we've never showed you some of the, the farm's permanent residents. Now, I love and hate relationship with these guys because we used to have to move them every morning, which was a pain in the ass. They're my chickens, but Jack. But now, they're just always in the shed, aren't they? Well, they say my chickens. I, I bought them and set up this lovely little place for them. Uh, but then they sort of become Joe's chickens. That's a Buff Orpington, that is. A Buff Orpington? She's a lovely girl, she is. Look at that, that's a Buff Orpington. She's a beauty. What are the others, Sam? Come on. Uh, that's a white one. Yep, white one. <laughs> I don't know what the others are. Brown, darker brown, and mottled brown. Oh, they got a lovely life in here, mate. <laughs> She's a face she is, isn't she? Yeah. So we're here, guys. We're up at uh, Sam's Emporium of Toot and Bits and Bobs. Secondhand stores, thrift shop. It comes handy, look. We've got the uh, Eiffel Williams up here, ready to put the Sierra on to go to a new home. Not uh, a home that I've sold it to, a home of storage. But we're here, we're up here. The day has come, guys. The day has come when we finally, after all this time, get the camper out. Ready for its MOT. So the day has come. So we're going to get some rims on it and roll it out on rims hopefully. Failing that, we're going to put the tyres back on, uh, the wheels back on, let them down and then pump them up. But we'll see how we go. Bring the keys. My keys. Yeah, so we'll see how we get on. That's the plan though, isn't it Jack? That's the plan. We're going to try and put four of these rims on the camper. Oh, crappy old rims. Roll it out Lay on off. rims. We're going to see how we get on. Off. They're the grabs. What, Volvos? No, the grab. Scania, we got two sets of it, didn't we? Steel and alley. We took the tyres off the steels and put them on the alleys. All oh, right, they look old and decrepit. They were, <laughs> hence why they got changed to alley. But we're here. So one of the jobs that the consultant role comes into is the electrics. So we've got to get this thing powered up. Uh, that involves getting a 240 volt circuit, a 12 volt circuit off of the 24 volt circuit that's in there. So Sam has purchased this little bad boy. I want to say second hand, but it's never been used. The guy who built it led over the way and never put it on the lorry building it for. Uh, and this is a uh, charger inverter a hell of a bit of a kit, look at it as a weapon. So this will take a 240 volt input and charge the batteries. It'll also take a 24 volt input and output 240 volt. So we've got to get this out, uh, get the right fuses and stuff out of here, and the isolator and the, the inlets, get all this into the box out of the side, along with the 24 to 12 volt converter that came out of this lorry originally, 
There is another charger in there, so we maybe maybe we'll have a double charger. At some point, I think he's going to go solar as well, so we need a, a charge controller to switch between the two. But at the moment, they're just going to be hook up and batteries. So yes, we've got to get this bad boy out and understand it all a bit more and work out how we get this into that box. We've got some hella fuses in here. Look at that 100 amp fuse. That one in here, look, that's one in here. 300 amp fuse. If, that, if that's blowing, something's seriously wrong. Yep, yep. So we're cracking on guys. I'm, I'm too, trying to do this, this as methodically as possible so that we understand how it all went together. So I've taken off the 240 volt input, which is here. I've taken off the 240 volt output, which goes to this, these breakers. Now I'm working on the, the, bat, the, the battery side. So this is the 240 side. No, this is the 12 volt side. This is the 240 side. So I'm gonna take these main connectors off. And that means this is free to leave the, the shelter of this cabinet. And then I can start working out what all the various components are and making notes on them. Uh, and then, yeah, lovely. I, I, uh, I did actually start, didn't finish mine, an electronic engineering degree at Southampton. So this is right up my straza. So we're, we're cracking on guys. You may have seen Andy and Connor have been brushing up the wheels because this, the lorry was an advert to why you should always use copper slick when you're doing wheels. They're basically fused to the hubs, but Sam has to get them off with a lot of struggle. Uh, so now we've got wheels back on. We were gonna go for straight rims, but the problem is with that is that actually it's not gives enough clearance for the diff, for the lower arms, for something under there. So we're putting wheels back on. When we got it in the shed, we didn't actually let the inner tires down. So we're hoping that with the door fully up and the, the tires completely down, we've got enough clearance. That's the hope. Uh, I've taken this out of the box now. Uh, so we've got this. I even found, let's Sam. I even found the user manual for it, which is lovely. And it's actually quite simple. They've just gone massively uh, overkill, I think. You've basically got battery, lorry battery in through a fuse into the inverter. You've got 240 in to the inverter and you've got 240 circuit out of the inverter. All this stuff here was for the equipment they were gonna run. Um, so actually it's very simple, got a nice uh, isolator, got some lovely cabling and some nice fuses. And when that's out, a nice box as well, actually. Yes. Yeah, so. Some boxes alone got 300 quid. Yeah. So we get these wheels on, get the lorry down, and then it's uh, judgment day. Will it get out of the shed? I mean, it looks it looks very high at present. That's because it is very high at present. This lovely bit of gadget is a magnet on some wheels. <laughs> Look, a little sweep over that. All those lovely bits of metal that would have put a hole in the wheel. This thing picks them up. Joy, innit? Chunky's taken over on the uh, electrical struggle. Really? Chunky is dealing with the 240 volt system. That's what Chunky's dealing with. Because he is an uh, extraordinaire electrical wizard, oh. aren't you, Chunky? People keep saying they want more Chunky, so this can be the little Chunky section. Chunky, electric, electric with Chunky. Yeah. So we just got the cut through down guys with the rubber, I had to lift the rubber out to seal it. And Sam's a bit hemmed up, he's a, uh, a bit stuck. You gotta go up and over. 
somewhere else. A bit more room this side, you see. That's why I'm a slightly larger bloke, got this side. So that's wheels on all the way around. Cab down, door all the way up. We are getting very close to uh, lorry out of shed time. Right, so now we're trying to get the lorry as low as possible. But Sam has fitted a shower above the wheel. So we are trying to get it as low as possible on the air, but not break the shower. So we've got tyres down, airbags down. We need three metres, 300 clearance. And now is the moment of truth. What do you reckon, Junk? Is it coming out? That looks good from here. Huh? That looks good from here. We'll shout, mate. We'll shout. So in, a, in an effort to get some decent footage of the camper van sliding itself out, uh, we've got some lovely uh, stunt camera work going on. Connor at the wheel, Jeff on the forks, lovely. Now we are, we've got a decent two inches here, but Andy's side is less than that. So they want to take some air out the other side, I think, front and back. So we're close to going on Andy's side, we have to stop because of Andy's side. We're close though, look, there's the cab. We are close, we are 60% out of the shed. It's out. The camper van has made it out of the shed. We, uh, it wasn't that much of a mission, really. I mean, the tires are flat. The tires are down, but it made it. I mean, the rear ones are not down a lot. Obviously the whole hope, the whole plan is to take this to truck fest and we were, we're going to probably leave a full tour until that time. Obviously the first thing I'm going to see, we have to try and find another way to get up there. But 
I don't really want to show you the insides yet. I want to keep you in suspense until it's all finished. Get a little glimpse of things though. A little glimpse. Sam does want to get the, the balcony done. The veranda. Four truck first. Yeah, all of these new storage boxes. A heat, water heater. It's all there, guys. It's always a shock when you bring it out of a shed, the paintwork. I think the plan is to get it for a full respray at some point. Uh, yeah, I suppose when funds are available. But it's out, it's out the shed. We'll get one of them bars down now. So the counter in the shop at the new yard is going to be one of them bars. So now we've got some space, we can get that out. Yes, yes. That's all the wheels back on, all up to pressure. It's just it's lovely, guys. Needs a bit of a clean. I think that's what Sam's going to do. Next job, get the bar down, get the bar down, ready for the shop. It needs a bit of a clean, a bit of a dust off. But this is the countertop for our shop. Thousands of bottle tops. Lovely storage underneath, you see. We're gonna put some plug sockets under there. Lovely. Monday afternoon. Uh, yeah, Monday done. Uh, Monday done I've, I've got still got quite a lot of coffee left, so I'm going to drive home with it. You know what that happens, don't you? You know what that happens? He doesn't even flatten the load, does he? Unless the beer needs to be calibrated. Yeah, I'm going to say that looks like a large load. Uh, we're just uh, having a, uh, taking a moment to just uh, assess the list for this week, which is rather long. But we're starting a new job tomorrow. Quick in and out. Nice little fencing job. Probably rude. <laughs> we are, we're doing concrete posts, concrete gravel boards, panels. Bit of clearance, bit uh, of level. So what you'll probably see is the best fences in the UK. Yeah, you know? this is, pro yeah. If Carlsberg did fences. It's, it's, it'd be us. Yeah, yeah. They'd, they'd give it's us a call. Handsome looking bunch. They'd give us a call. They're right, Connor. Connor, they want to know why you're so grumpy, mate. Because all afternoon you've been smiling and laughing, mate. I ain't grumpy, man. Fresh. Had a, had a fantastic day though. Basically, I, I've been sponsored by Dane Flow today, <laughs> and I've had all the staff for free. All the hourly rates have been knocked right down. Yeah, no, we've had a lot done, done a lot, haven't we? Yeah, we're going to go and build some raised beds in my house next week. Yeah. All right, anyone that note, I'm going to go home. So we're going to get here early and take the camp up. Then we're getting back. Tomorrow. What time are you getting here tomorrow? I'll be on time. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh. See you tomorrow. Oh. Oh. The, uh, the joy of a long uh, hose for our fuel tank. We can fill the lorries up outside. Anyway, we're heading to market. No, we're heading to MOT. So a little bit misly. Sam's worried that it might rain heavily and test his new roof and cut through ceiling. 
Uh, we know the cut through doesn't isn't quite watertight, so fingers crossed it doesn't rain. Yeah, it must be running, is it, I guess it's running down, isn't it? Yeah. Who knows, I'm guys? Recording, brother. Yes, that's what you need. Someone said that on the comments, I think. Yeah, the reason I haven't got it. How much? £84 a metre. £84 a metre, guys, for an accordion rubber. And that is a uh, like bendy butts to go in there in the cut through where it seals to the cab because the cab obviously has to tilt and it can't be fixed. Plus, the cab is on independent suspensions of the body, so they move independent of each other. Anyway, we're going to set off. Uh, yes, see you soon. So it made it here, guys. Welsh's transport. This is obviously where all of our lorries come and is where the camper van is coming. Same with Phil Judgelet. Here he is. Lovely. They're used to camper vans, it's not the same size. Had to get on, mate. Well, what a pleasant drive that was. Was it lovely, was it? No creaking and banging in the back. Did you get wet at all? No. No. Little speck hole of daylight. Oh, it's a little bit light now. But it looked nice driving down the road. It weren't smoking anymore since we left the garage. Hi guys, uh, we're back from taking the lorry, just loading up for a little fencing job we got on. So I'm going to take, I've got a delivery to go out, we're going to take the micro with us, all the digging tools, we're on clearance today, we're going to get in there and clear the hell out of it. Clear the old fence, clear the fence line, give it a bit of a blade, lovely. I'm going to come back here, we've got a bit of new gate as well with the combination lock, uh, and it's a bit miserly, um, it's a bit miserly weather, isn't it Con? A bit miserly mate. Yeah, Connor's buzzing for it. Uh, right, I'm going to take this load and then we will tune back in uh, either back here or on site. Mm, yes. I'm here, guys. Met these boys on site because time was cracking on. We're actually in Saffron Walden this week. We don't do a lot of jobs in Saffron Walden, even though we're sort of equidistant between that and Haverhill. But uh, yes, Connor's getting the mic off. Smooth, Connor. Smooth, mate. Just watch that tree behind you. First things first is getting the micro around the side of the house. And the joy of the micro is it goes down to 680 mil. So it will get into the tightest of spots. Micro round, let's show you the job. Ding, 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 ding. So it's this, I mean, all the fences need a bit of a bit of TLC, but we are worrying about the rear fence today. So from there, all the way through the back of here to there. So we've literally got to rip the old one out. Rip the old one out. It's a lot of clearance. Uh, but we, it's what we do best. We attack green waste and old fences and we will have that out in no time at all. So yeah, so clear, clear all this, clear all this. And then it's concrete posts, timber panels going all the way down to this corner post in here. Some of these big ones are staying and then Andy's gonna have a tickle about, try and get this, uh, a, tickle, a tickle about. Try and get this a bit more level. I haven't seen the viewers. I haven't seen the viewers today. How are you? Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, by the time this video goes live, our merch shop should also be live. I'll put a link to it in the description. 
I'll put a link in the description, a link here if I can do that. Uh, stickers and key rings, Connor. Stickers and key rings. Soon to be filled with a plethora of they're like fleeces, look. Modelled here by the lovely Andrew. Look Power. That. Yep, Danslow fleece. For the more discerning gentlemen. Yeah, Danslow pants. Oh, Andy, you haven't put them on today. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we're going to have a coffee. No, no, Friday, <laughs> we're going to have a quick coffee, you know that? <laughs> uh, and then we're going to get this back edge cleared. And it looks like a lot, but when we get clearing, we'll, that'll be gone an hour. Yeah, it, won't be it looks worse than it is. As soon as the digger pulls that in into a bundle, yeah, I've got some gloves. Luckily, digger collapsed. Did anyone think about bringing a tripod off of the tar machine? I've got one. Got a new motor. Lovely. I've got the I've got the uh, fiber one. Oh yeah, yeah. That's what I haven't bought is gloves. I've got some gloves. I did have a pair of gloves in the back of my truck that I was going to bring. I was going to go back to the yard. There are some. I, I've got some. You forget anything, I've got a pair like that. Did you? High vis one's gone. The old um, we might be clearing that. Uh, those old slabs just there. Lovely stacko slabs. What we need is some dry weather. Yes. I'm taking pictures. So the clearance has started guys, the clearance has started. Uh, I think this sort of clearance calls for a time lapse. You, yeah, you. Yeah. Now we've cleared a bit, we realise that there's actually quite a few limbs of these conifers that stick out through the fence line, so we're just whopping the back off. But there's quite a big one that might have to come out. It's amazing how quickly trailers and transits fill up. I think with the extra clearance, we might have to bring the grab. A lovely big green waste grab. Don't take it long guys, when you've got the team on it. Obviously we've got to scrape this corner away, it's like an old compost heap. But that's the line cleared, most of it's from me and Kyle, I've got most of it around there now. Taking down a few more bushes and shrubs. Got a nice clean line though, from this post here. Straight through to that concrete post there. And then we've got a little panel the other side, just an infill panel to do. And then we're gonna dig them up dig them a shed base here, move that hell custom down there up here, and then level the garden, put the fence up, new gate, bish bash bosh, in and out. Lovely. It's a wet and puppy day here, people. Oh, well, we had we had a new trailer under there somewhere. We did. Yeah, we're uh, we forgot the fan rake and the fork to make our lives easier. So 
cave going all the way back to the yard and getting it, we're just going to go and buy another one. Because you can never have too many fan rakes and forks. So I'm going to Ridgens. Um, world's most expensive place. Oh. and buy a new fan rate and a fork for the traps. They're doing ever so well, Jack and Connor. I've just had my hands in my pocket most of the morning. I don't like clearance, especially, well, I don't like it at the best of times, but when it's like this, wet and puppy, yeah, I'm not, not, not a fan. But everyone's getting on, they're all cracking on, it's all going well. We should, we just gotta have some better weather because we can't really get on like this. Anyway, I'm going to go to Ridgens and buy some new gear. So I'll show you what I got when I when I come out. I shall, I shall. I will. Now you're gonna find out what it's like to be wrong. We're getting there, guys. We're getting there. It's nearly all the greenways cleared. Uh, we've actually found about 15 frogs, uh, which have all been expertly saved into that uh, laurel. Oh look, you can see one. You can see one still, just down there. A little bit of baby frogs. Uh, Sam's just nipped off to uh, Ridgins, I think, to buy us a fan rake and a garden fork because we didn't bring them for some reason. Uh, that will help us with the last remnants. Andy is uh, currently uh, channeling his best micro digger. We can clear the lime and then we're going to level the garden down, remove all that hardcore, get it up here for the shed base. We're not doing the shed base, we're just uh, fencing and a bit of levelling. Lovely stuff. And uh, it's a bit misly and rainy as well. Yes. Well, hey, Ray. Hope you're doing well. Mate. Yeah, the power of the three-cylinder Yanmar, making light work of the soil and the roots. Yes, yes. So that video you just saw was me accidentally filming an update as a time lapse. Uh, Connor got pulled on his leg. That video was just filming. It was a time lapse. So it's all in hyperspeed. Connor got some pull on his leg. Look. Lovely, lovely pooey leg. Uh, we're getting there. This, bit, this top bit's all leveled now. Well, getting there, almost leveled. And we've got to rake off all these loose bits. Sam's going to get a fan rake. Uh, we've got hundreds of frogs, most of them are gone now. I did save one on the previous video, but as it was a time lapse, it was a blink of an eye. Uh, we've got to get a shed base dug here. Dirt from here is going down there next to the patio. All the hardcore from that side up here and then the rest of the dirt there. Got a lovely clean line for the fence. Basically the garden will be completely clear uh, and level, well roughly level. The nice new fence, all sort of left like this, ready for them to rotivate and seed at a later date. Uh, oh yeah, and I will show you the amount of green waste we've, made, we've pulled out so far because it might be a little bit too much for the transit in the trailer. quite a lot but it's okay because that will all pull down with straps and then and the net and anything loose will cut off same with there that'll pull down with straps and the net and then we'll leave this till tomorrow simple 
Oh, I love it. So, I mean, this is where we put in the gate, by the way. We've got to put a new post in here, which is going to be joyous. And then a wall plate, gate, combination lock. Sam should be here soon. Taking his sweet, sweet time. So Andy's getting the shed base dug out. I'd like say we're not doing the shed base, you just have to really dig one out for them. Put the hardcore in it, simple. Uh, we've finally got a fan rake on site. Bosh, and a garden fork, bosh. So we're giving us a nice rake over now, getting a fall loose. And Andy will start levelling this dirt across this area and into that bit down there. Simple guys, simple and effective. Yes, yes. Right, so we're all cleared up. We're all cleared up. I've done it again. I filmed a great bit of content and it was a time lapse. It was, wasn't it? It was brilliant, Sam. Um, no, I mean, the time was a time lapse. Yeah, no, it definitely was a time lapse. Don't yeah. Make me laugh, Jack, all cleared up. Mate, you don't know your ass from your elbow. <laughs> all cleared up, no. Uh, we got it all on. so much fun clearing. Yeah, I did. About life. Well, in that video, it was amazing, by the way. Best bit of content I've ever seen, but you can't see it. I mean, you can see it, but it was just very quick. Uh, I was just saying how much of a good time I've had so far. Connor's full of beans, the covered in poo. There's a bit of cash being flashed over there, look. Cash being flashed, Two brand spanking new Audis with private plates. Yeah. Big who, money. Who'd need, who'd need a private plate? Well, we're in Walden, say big money. Connor's got his hard man act on again because he's on camera. Yeah. <laughs> Problem is, Connor's not round his end, he's, 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 he's in Walden. What's well, that last brick, Connor, mate? Oh, Connor. That one. Connor, there's a brick there, mate, you missed. What's going on? Connor's scared of spiders, uh, but Connor needs to Connor needs to be the hard man because we're in uh, we're in Walden, which Connor's Haverhill ends, and this is Walden. He's a clever clown. That's the next keyring, Connor the clown. What clever clown? Yes, uh, all the keyrings will be available on the merch store. Yeah, I'll bring the trailer back down first. Uh, yes, merch store going live. Uh, so go on there, buy your stickers, buy your key rings. We will, we will have Danes Low hoodies and stuff available at some point. Uh, but we don't have to run before we can walk. All right, get the transit. We've got it all on though. Just need to put a hedge cut down the side, net it up. We have got a net on board. Yeah, we have. Look, there's the net, lovely. Net it up, nice and safe. All right, get this back down there. So Andy's had a little bit of a, bit more of a level. We're going to we're bringing up all the highs and we're going to fill in this low patch here. It's really low, we're going to fill that in. We've got to move this hardcore to the top where the shed base is. Obviously because the garden's on a slow, I'm about to go quite deep with the shed base. Again, we're not finishing. You know what, mate? What is it? Where? Oh look, another frog to save. Come on, mate. There you go. Like I say, we found hundreds of frogs. Yes. And I've tried to save every single one I can. No frogs were harmed in the making of this garden.
And he's going to have a bit of a level about. Level all of this garden down into those two lows now. Level it across. We'll have a rake up. Not a bad first day. And then tomorrow, plan is get the fence up. Bosh. I think it's about six panels, so it's not huge. Six panels, wasn't it about that? Eight panels, maybe. Yeah. That oh, should be all right, it's in a met post. There shouldn't be any concrete down there. For the famous last words. Get the bore, Connor. So yeah, first hole here, bosh. Jason to this, and then straight down there. We're gonna to go to that, like I said earlier, concrete post and then infill. Now we've taken the limbs off the back of those conifers, it'll go in there nicely. And this new homeowner will come back to their new build and see a lovely fresh fence at the end of their garden. Nice. Yes. Like them windows. Real big bifolds. No, sliders by looks of it. Real big sliders. Bosh, bosh, bosh. Nice. Thank you, Connor. Right. Let's see how this hole goes. Right, fence measuring time. We have Andy's trusty tape. Trusty, it's a big boy tape. I mean, in, right now it looks like it's about a metre wide, this tape, it's huge. Jack, hold on. Oh, sorry. Just gonna show the viewers what sort of length we're playing with. <laughs> you there, mate? 18 metres. 18 metres, Jack's saying. That tells me that he's already stepped it out today. Or he's going on what we've priced on. Stepped out when we came, apparently, you did. All right, to the post, we have 11.7 meters. 11.7 meters. Now, you viewers at home worked that out. We're doing 1.8 meter bays, 1.8 meter bays, 11.7 meters. And then a panel. 11.7. I'm just going to work this out and get back to you. So, so much for only dirt. Uh, four inches down, we've got an old, an old timber post in the post creek. And then what these clever people have done is they've cut the old timber post off and knocked a met post into the timber. Look, old timber post creek, and they've knocked a met post into the timber. Very shoddy workmanship, if you do, mind me saying. Can you do this fence, Connor? Oh, slap dash, slap dash bash. All right, so we're gonna try and break one half of this out. There you go, guys. One post hole adjacent to the other post. We managed to get that post grid out without no sweat, didn't we, come? And then... How good, man, how good that bit of kit is. And then we use this bad boy. I don't know this. why other fencing companies are like, don't use such a machine. 150 quid off of eBay, three years old now. All it's ever snapped is these little pins that hold it here. And, a, and a, a, one of these come off, didn't it? Yeah, that's all it's ever done. Never fails to start, never fails to dig. 150 can, quid, mate. You can spend a lot more money on them. The Husqvarna one's like 700 quid, I think. But they all dig Put a hole. Thing. And with this one is, we bought it thinking, well, if it breaks on the first couple of jobs, then it's fine. Never let us down, is it? But yeah, three years, almost three years we've had this. And we put it through And the my word, does this dig some holes. We've got some extenders as well, so it'll go down to got about a metre deep. And um, yeah, it's a lovely bit of kit. I mean, it's, the Husqvarna one does have a brake on it, so if it start, if it catches, it'll stop the engine. This one doesn't, it's a bit more dangerous. We like uh, that, don't but we? we do, yeah. It's a spice to stay up, doesn't it? But if you, if you know how to use it, you just use your leg as a support. Absolutely. So you push it into your leg like that, you see? Yeah, we like danger. There ain't no, honestly, and you've got to make sure you feather the throttle. So if, the throttle. You're, if you're in the game and you're after a nice little post hole digger off eBay, it's a Wolf 52cc. More so, cc's uh, than my first moped. Yeah, and if it ever lets us down and we can't use it as that, we're going to strap it to the back of a push bike. For aren't legs. We, aren't we, Jack? Yes. So we're at the other end now, that's the first hole over there. This is the second hole, or the last hole of this run. Bit more of an issue, this one because we're right up against a nice big fat corner post, which means there's going to be a nice a nice bit of post creek down there, a bit of concrete that they put the post in. Uh, <coughs> and what we did spot was this. Look, these are the conifer trees we were chopping earlier. And look, 
they are joined. They are joined. This tree is joined to this tree. This is a tree married couple. I wonder if they're all joined. I wonder if they were put in so long ago that the roots have all joined. They are a symbiotic entity. Obviously the uh, post hole auger, uh, hand auger, won't go through that. So uh, we've got legs on it, strong man, 10 men. Another awesome bit of kit, the, the, uh, we call them a breaker bar. What, maybe that's their name, isn't it? Breaker bar? That's it, has it got a more technical name than breaker bar? A bar, heavy bar, and uh, yeah, it's got a good bit of weight to it, and you've thumped that in there, it's got a nice cutting edge on it, sharpened up, that'll, uh, that'll break through most things. I love a breaker bar. This is a bit of a, a, a what's what on a fencing job. All the tools. You show them the tape, we show them the diggers, yeah. we'll show you a string line. This is shovel, this one. That one there's a shovel. You know that. A very special sort of shovel though, isn't it Sam? Grain shovel. Yeah, this is like some sort of bear grills no, going on here. Grain shovel. It's the best shovels in the world that money can buy, as you saw in the Christmas special. <laughs> Hello there, I'm in the undergrowth. <laughs> uh, as you saw in the Christmas special, these shovels come from Lidl. £12 each, I would never buy another shovel in my life. These are post hole diggers. Post now, hole Connor diggers. Will demonstrate with them right now, Jay. There you are, Connor. Connor, clear the hole out, mate. Bar, mate. You go in, you squeeze, you pull out. Yeah, so basically, I know you've seen, we've cleared the line, we dig in the first post hole and the end post hole. We will set those posts at the correct height at each end and then put a string line between them and that will give us our line and our fall. We will then start at one end and dig holes, panel post, panel post and post it as we go. We've got a six inch gravel board and a panel going on here and yeah we'll show you the what's what and the how to of putting a fence in. Hello there, here's Johnny! <laughs> Uh, what do we know? Mel, do we know? Do we know? I don't mind. Do we know what panels we're going for? Are we going for a, a, a ship lap or a, and a vertical lap like these panels? Vertical lap rather than a horizontal lap. No, we always prefer to do a, a vertical lap. But I'm going to have a little go on the hole. So we're getting there guys. Obviously the fence line's ready for tomorrow, it's easy. And he's just having a level about. Obviously there's no access for a bigger digger. That was tight getting the work, the point eight in. We, when we first came around, this house hadn't been built yet. And so we were gonna use that, that as access and bring it to bigger machine. Uh, but we can't, so we have to bring the micro. The micro micro, which means uh, more to in and fro in. There's only a, a 680, no, seven, Three foot, probably three foot ninety. Yeah, about three foot wide. So it's a lot, and it don't push very well because it's not got a lot of weight. You see. So Andy saw it out. Obviously, we're going to we're getting this as level as we can and filling in in front of the patio. And there. Oh yes. All right, I'm going to go and uh, pack up some tools. So that's done. That's us dumping today on site. Uh, shed base done, ready for them, levelling started, hardcore up there, fence line clear. Considering the, uh, the wet for atrocious British weather we've been up against. Yeah. I don't think we've done too bad. No, it's good mate. I My mean, new boy's done the bulk of the work. It's so. a good start. What's Connor lost mate? Connor's lost his bottle of drink, I can see it from here. I can see it from here Connor. I can see it from here mate. I can hear the digger. Uh, yeah, 
this and we're going to go drop this green waste off and serendipitous uh, tomorrow we've got put the fence up finish the leveling do the gate yeah we'll be out there tomorrow mate a little two day job Put the gate. Yeah. Put some brown plugs. Uh, wall, wall plugs? No, 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 brown. Brown wall plugs, yeah. No, wall. <laughs> everyone in the comments agreed, mate. No, raw. most people said wall plugs. No, everyone said raw, mate. I mean, raw. there's more raw than wall. It's raw, it's raw, raw plug. plug. Anyway, we're going to cut that out, Joe. We're going to put a free by free post in there so we save on cake width. Yeah. Oh, hi there. Hi there. It's about half three here in the uh, in the Daneslow Empire. Uh, what am I doing? I'm, I'm making a coffee. Just got back to the yard. The boys have gone down to Andy's to get rid of the rubbish. I say rubbish, brush. It's always handy because Andy, Andy has got a little bit of land. Not a lot, but he's got a little piece of England. That's what he's got. So uh, he has a fire down there. So when we have brush, green waste, whatever you want to call it, trees and shrubbery and stuff like that, we tend to tip it down there. Uh, it helps us get rid of us get rid of it. You see. So Connor and Andy and Jack have gone down there to do that. Chunky's been on Cavernham all day. I think he's done three loads in there today, which is lovely, very very nice. So he's done that. He's just got back. So I've loaded him up with the stuff out the muck bay because we're going to start getting rid of the muck bay now so that's another load gone three in total today to Cavanham. so we'll see how that gets on uh camper a little camper update it's gone in today for its taco graph calibration i think that all went well mot tomorrow so wish me luck guys mot tomorrow for the camper it was uh i didn't update you it was a joyous journey there we left early takes about 40 minutes to get there from here and uh, not a peep out of it just drove like a dream i put them granada leather seats in it heated electric and it's like driving an armchair it's beautiful so uh i was i was thinking it was gonna be all rattly in the back stuff rattling and banging and all that but nothing nothing like that at all so it's a smooth journey just lovely smooth exactly what I wanted it to be really so I'm really pleased about that just want to get it back here now MOT so I can finish it uh, yeah that's what's going on so I'm just making a coffee you see up, up here in the tea to the huts look same lorry as I've got F12 there look that's what I'm going to aspire to make mine into one day but what a beauty so I have one of them sitting in the shed one day I'll restore it with chunk hay yeah so we're here anyway we're just making a coffee and we're gonna chill chillax wait for the boys to get back might be a bit of cake put the cake on here for people yes yeah, it's a yard cake might be a bit of cake oh hello hello how you getting on you all right mate you all right jacko mate i'm all right end of the day sucky sweet again mate sucky sweet End of the day, I don't know what day is it, Tuesday. What flavour have you got? I don't know what flavour they like. That's a humbug, is it? Oh, no, no, they're uh, right. Humbug. Some of them are a bit more butterscotchy and some are a bit more minty. Mm. All dirty. No, they're nice, mate. Do you like one, Connor? All right, Chief. Don't flinch, mate. Have the shit dead, mate. Anyway, that's uh, another day done. Back there tomorrow with all the fencing gear and we'll get it sorted. And then we're going to try and get down to the yard end of the week. It'll be lovely. Well, anyway, I'm going to go home. I'm going to go home. Off well, I'll drop the digger off one time. Huh? Yeah, we'll try it. We'll pick some stuff up. Yeah, nice. Okay, bye-bye. I've got to go around the I've got to go around the houses, haven't I? They've trucked the road, guys. I've got to go around the houses. Anyway, bye-bye.